Ever wondered how Meta and Alphabet stack up financially? Today, we dive into the numbers. Meta, the company behind Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, and Alphabet, Google's parent company, are two of the world's leading tech firms. Both have their hands in various pots, from social networking and digital advertising, to cloud computing and artificial intelligence. But how do they compare when it comes to their financial performance? That's what we're here to find out. By analyzing their revenues, profits, operational efficiency, and other key financial indicators, we can gain a clearer picture of their financial health and growth prospects. To make informed investment decisions, understanding the financial health of these tech giants is crucial. So let's get started. First, let's look at the total revenues of Meta and Alphabet. At the close of the third quarter of 2023, Meta's total revenue was $95 billion, while Alphabet's was a staggering $221 billion. A breakdown of these revenues shows us that 39% of Meta's revenue came from United States and Canada, 23% from Europe, 27% from Asia Pacific, and the remaining 11% from the rest of the world. On the other hand, Alphabet's revenue was comprised of 47% from the United States, 30% from regions representing Europe, the Middle East and Africa, 17% from Asia Pacific, and a mere 6% from Canada and Latin America. But how have these revenues changed over time? Let's take a trip back in time to the third quarter of 2018. Meta's revenue was $38 billion, and Alphabet's was $98 billion. Fast forward to the third quarter of 2023, and we see a significant growth in both companies. Meta's revenue has grown at a compound annual growth rate, KGR, of 20% to reach $95 billion, while Alphabet's revenue has grown at a KGR of 18% to reach $221 billion. In other words, over the past five years, both companies have been able to grow their revenues significantly. Meta has more than doubled its revenue, while Alphabet has added a whopping $123 billion to its revenue. These figures are a testament to the impressive growth and strong economic performance of both companies. They have not only managed to increase their revenues but also expand their geographic reach, tapping into markets across the globe. While Alphabet's total revenue is more than twice that of Meta, both companies have shown impressive growth in the last five years. Now let's move on to the profit margins. It's quite intriguing to see different profit strategies between Meta and Alphabet. In terms of gross profit margin, Meta takes the lead with a whopping 81%, while Alphabet trails behind at 57%. This means that for every dollar generated, Meta retains 81 cents as gross profit, compared to Alphabet's 57 cents. However, when it comes to net profit, Alphabet takes the upper hand. At the end of the third quarter of 2023, Alphabet reported a net profit of $53 billion, outpacing Meta's $25 billion. This indicates Alphabet's stronger ability to convert sales into actual profit after all expenses are deducted. In terms of net profit margin, both tech giants are neck and neck. Meta reported a net profit margin of 26%, while Alphabet was close behind at 24%. This means that Meta retains 26 cents from each dollar of revenue after all costs and expenses, whereas Alphabet retains 24 cents. But how efficient are these companies in managing their operating expenses? In terms of the selling, general and administrative expenses to revenue ratio, or the SG&A to revenue ratio, Meta reported 19%, while Alphabet had a lower percentage at 14%. This indicates that Alphabet spends less on operating expenses per dollar of revenue compared to Meta. Now, let's take a look at the net profit growth of these two companies over the past five years. From the third quarter of 2018 to the same period in 2023, Meta has seen its net profit grow at a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 11%. Alphabet, on the other hand, has experienced a higher CAGR of 19%. In summary, while Alphabet has a higher net profit, Meta boasts a larger gross profit margin, each company has its strengths and weaknesses, and it's these differences that make the world of tech investing such a fascinating place. Next, we examine Meta and Alphabet's efficiency and liquidity. These two key elements play a pivotal role in the financial stability of these tech giants. Let's start with the return on equity, or ROE. In essence, ROE measures a company's profitability by revealing how much profit a company generates with the money shareholders have invested. For Meta, the ROE stands at 23%, while Alphabet boasts a slightly higher figure at 26%.
Then, we have the return on assets, or ROA, which helps us understand how effectively a company is using its assets to generate earnings. Meta's ROA stands at 15.5%, while Alphabet's is 17.8%. Now let's talk about total assets and equity. Meta's total assets amount to $216 billion, with equity or net assets of $143 billion. Alphabet, on the other hand, possesses total assets of $397 billion, and equity of $273 billion. This brings us to the equity to total assets ratio, which provides insights into a company's financial leverage. Meta has an equity to total assets ratio of 66%, while Alphabet's ratio is slightly higher at 69%. Moving on to liquidity ratios, which measure a company's ability to pay off its short-term debts. Meta's current ratio is 2.57, and its quick ratio is the same. Alphabet's current ratio on the other hand is 2.04, with a quick ratio of 2.01. Lastly, let's discuss the total assets turnover, a measure of how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate sales. Meta's total assets turnover is 0.63, while Alphabet stands at 0.77. Both companies have strong liquidity and efficiency, making them attractive investment options. Scene script. Let's delve into operational efficiency and cash flow. First, let's talk about accounts receivable days. This is the average number of days it takes a company to collect payment after a sale has been made. For Meta, it's 38 days, while Alphabet takes a bit longer, at 50 days. This indicates that Meta is able to collect its dues from customers faster than Alphabet, which can be a sign of effective credit control policies. Then, we have cash generated by operating activities. This is the net amount of cash that a company brings in from its core business operations. In the case of Meta, it's $52 billion, while Alphabet pulls ahead with $83 billion. This shows that Alphabet's operating activities are generating more cash than Meta's. Now on to free cash flow. This is the cash a company produces through its operations, less the cost of expenditures on assets. In other words, it's the cash left over after the company has paid off its bills and made necessary investments. Meta's free cash flow stands at $32 billion, with Alphabet leading at $62 billion. This indicates that Alphabet has more cash available for distribution to all stakeholders including stockholders, debtors and others. Lastly, let's discuss operating cash flow to net income. This is a ratio that compares a company's operating cash flow to its net income. For Meta, this ratio is 2.1, while for Alphabet it's 1.6. This means that for every dollar of net income, Meta generates $2.10 in cash from operations, while Alphabet generates $1.60. This suggests that Meta is more efficient at turning its net profit into actual cash than Alphabet. In summary, while Alphabet leads in terms of cash generated by operating activities and free cash flow, Meta shows a faster collection process and a higher ratio of operating cash flow to net income. Alphabet has a slight edge in operational efficiency and cash flow, but Meta is not far behind. Finally, we conduct a DuPont analysis. This method allows us to dissect the return on equity or ROE of both Meta and Alphabet, breaking it down into three components, net profit margin, asset turnover ratio, and asset to equity ratio. For Meta, with an ROE of 23%, we see a net profit margin of 26%, an asset turnover ratio of 0.63, and an asset to equity ratio of 1.51. On the other hand, Alphabet, with an ROE of 26%, presents a net profit margin of 24%, an asset turnover ratio of 0.77, and an asset to equity ratio of 1.45. This analysis allows us to identify the different factors influencing the ROEs of these two tech giants. In conclusion, both Meta and Alphabet have strong financial performance with different strengths. Understanding these nuances helps in making informed investment decisions. Stay tuned for more financial analysis of top companies.